Hello again, Jared Case here, curator of film exhibitions at the Dryden Theater and the George Eastman Museum with another streaming recommendation. This is the end of the fourth, fourth week that we've been giving you these streaming recommendations. This is what we do now. And on Sundays, we've been highlighting some of the most recent recipients of the George Eastman Award. Back in 2016, this was the actor Michael Douglas. Of course, so popular in the 80s with films like Beetlejuice and Batman. But he's always been uh, an actor that's been able to balance both the dramatic and the comedic, which has led to more critical acclaim in recent years with films like Spotlight and Birdman. So uh, when I went through looking for uh, a film uh, with Michael Keaton that's been streaming, it was a little difficult to find something that was really starring him. And so I was looking at some of the supporting terms that he had. And right up until uh, I just started recording this, uh, the idea was I was going to recommend Much Ado About Nothing, Kenneth Branagh's 1993 William Shakespeare adaptation. But I did one more check and found that that's no longer streaming. You have to check each time to make sure that something's streaming before you go and watch it. So quick switch around. One of the films that has come onto streaming recently on Amazon Prime Video is his 1983 film, Mr. Mom. Now, this was, uh, although Keaton had been in Night Shift before, this was really his breakout film. This was the first film he was in that uh, went to number one at the box office. It actually stayed there for five weeks and stuck around from the summer to November, where it became number one again uh, somehow as it was uh, getting towards the end of the year and people needed a laugh. Now, this is the story of uh, a Detroit auto worker named Jack who loses his job and has to go home and take care of uh, his three kids while his wife then goes back into advertising, which she had gone to school for in order for her to become the breadwinner, so he had to become Mr. Mom. Certainly, I think the comedy seems a little bit dated, or certainly the concept, but the comedy is actually pretty solid when you go back and watch it. And it's probably not surprising considering that it is Keaton, as I said, who balances the comedic and the dramatic, but it's also one of the first scripts by John Hughes. Uh, this is uh, only his second uh, comedic film feature script after the ill-advised class reunion. But it was after this that uh, everyone involved with the film uh, achieved a certain... Uh, amount of success. Hughes went on to do Vacation right after this and then right into Sixteen Candles and Breakfast Club and his career was on and rolling. Of course Keaton went on to uh, bigger and bigger things as well throughout the 80s and into the 90s. So this is actually a really great film to catch up on uh, if you haven't seen it. Uh, it's one of those sort of touchstones particularly of the early 80s when you're talking about labor comedies or uh, gender switching, uh, role switching comedies, whether it's uh, Tootsie or uh, 9 to 5, these early 80s comedies, it really was uh, a, a centralized time for this, this kind of, uh, these uh, issues to be addressed through comedy. So I suggest you go back and watch Michael Keaton in Mr. Mom. It's streaming on Amazon Prime Video. Come back on next Sunday and we'll have another Georgie Spin Award streaming recommendation. Thanks.